so Google Wallet or Samsung Wallet? The video compares the two, so let's get into it. All right, in terms of devices, Google Wallet is offered on all NFC supported devices, whereas Samsung Wallet is available on Samsung Galaxy phones. When we add a card in both, we can scan the card to add details manually. There is a flash icon in both if it's dark outside. Samsung Wallet supports NFC tab, so you can just click here and tap the card on the back of the phone to add details automatically. Google Wallet does not have this feature. However, if you use Google products in your daily life, you'll probably see your cards here. And with a few clicks, you can add the card without entering all the details. When you add a payment card, both create a virtual card number. This number is shared with the business to keep your original card secured. Both support a wide range of cards. There isn't much difference to be honest. You might find a few more supporting cards in Google Wallet, but both support most cards. You will find the supporting banks and cards in Google Wallet by tapping here and selecting your country. In Samsung Wallet, tap on this icon to go to the dedicated page for your country. Both also support other card types including loyalty cards, vouchers and boarding passes. One thing that Google Wallet supports is adding transport cards. You can search for yours in this menu. Samsung Wallet can use one of the payment cards as the transport card but it doesn't support the original transport passes. To add loyalty cards we touch here. While shopping you open the app and tap on the loyalty card and scan the barcode. Lastly, Google Wallet supports Buy Now Pay Later apps. Samsung Wallet is limited in that regard. So if you use one of those apps, Google Wallet will be your friend. Alright, let's see how to use both. Usually when you add a payment card, the payment app asks you to make it the default. You can go to the NFC settings to check the default payment app. As I use both, I just open the app I want to use and instead of the default app, that app is used. Samsung Wallet is more secure as it requests you to unlock the app by providing the PIN or scanning your fingerprint. Changing the verification or removing it is possible in the settings. To use both, open the apps and choose your card if you have multiple. On this contactless terminal, all you need to do is tap your phone. The notification sound of Google Wallet is loud and it vibrates when you tap. Samsung Wallet also vibrates but its notification sound is quiet and short. When the payment is processed, you get this notification. You can also see your activity in the card menu. I like the activity view of Google Wallet. It shows the business location, address and a call button. Before we go any further, let's talk about additional features. Samsung Wallet has this quick access feature that displays a handle at the bottom. You can swipe up and use the app. However, the problem is that it sometimes opens when I unlock my phone and I must close it which sometimes takes a few seconds. Also, Samsung Wallet makes it easier to erase your personal data. Go to settings, tap on this button and click on this erase button. Google Wallet takes you to your Google account to see and delete your data. So which one is for you? Well, you are here because you already have a Samsung phone. I suggest using Samsung Wallet because of its rich user experience, easier setup and security. It's also pre-installed on your Samsung phone so you don't need another app. 